What's that? A boat? A boat! I think I see it. Ah! Wait here. Oh God. Roy's got his. How? Booby trap. All set. A wire across the door attached to something above. Is he? Yes. Crushed. A head stove in. The great bronze bear holding a clock from the landing. A bear? How ghastly! It's this awful childishness! I know. God, what a fool! And then there were two. Yes, Vera. And we'll have to be very careful of ourselves. We shan't do it! She'll get us! We'll never get off this island! Yes, we will. I've never been beaten yet. Don't you feel now that there's someone watching us? Watching and waiting? That's just nerves. So you do feel it? No, I don't. Oh, Philip, let's get out of here. Perhaps if that wasn't boat, they'll see us. All right, we'll go to the top of the island and wait for relief to come. It's sheer cliff on the far side, and we'll be able to see anyone approaching from the house. Anywhere's better than here. Won't you be rather cold in that dress? I'd be colder if I were dead. I suppose you're right. A quick reconnaissance. Be careful, Philip, please. I'm not poor. There's no window directly above. Uh, there's something washed up on the rocks. What? It looks like a body. You'd better wait in there. I'm going to have a look. Armstrong. Armstrong's body. It's Armstrong. Drowned. Washed up at high watermark. So there's no one on the island? No one at all? Except us two? Yes, Vera. Now we know where we are. Now we know where we are? Very pretty trick of yours with that wire. Quite neat. Old Wargrave always knew you were dangerous. I... You, so you did drown that kid after all. I didn't. That's where you're wrong. Please believe me. Please listen to me. I'm listening. You better make it a good story. It's not a story. It's the truth. I didn't kill that boy. It was someone else. Who? A man. Peter's uncle. I was in love with him. This is getting quite interesting. Don't smear! It was hell! Absolute hell! Peter was born after his father's death. If he was a girl, he would have got everything. Well-known tale of the wicked uncle. Yes, he was wicked. I didn't know. He said he loved me, but he was too poor to marry. There was a rock far off that Peter always wanted to swim to. Of course, I wouldn't let him. It was too dangerous. One day, we were on the beach, and I went back to the house with something I'd forgotten. When I came back, I saw Peter swimming off. I knew he had a chance. The current already had got to him. I ran after him, but he stopped me. He said, don't. I told the little brat he could do it. Go on. This is getting interesting. I pushed past him. He tried to stop me. I plunged into the sea. I didn't get there in time. And then all went off well at the inquest. They called you a plucky girl, and then you kept discreetly quiet about Hugh's part in the business. Do you think anyone would have believed me? Besides, I couldn't. I really did love him. Well, it's a pretty story. And then I suppose Hugh let you down? Do you think I ever wanted to see him again? You certainly are an accomplished liar, Vera. Can't you believe the truth when you hear it? Who set that trap that killed Blore? I didn't. And Armstrong's dead. I've broken most of the commandments in my time, and I'm no saint. But there's one thing I won't stand for, and that's murder. You won't stand for murder? What about those men you left to die in Africa? That's what's so damn funny. I didn't. What do you mean? For once, just once, Mark, you, I played the hero. Risked my life to save the lives of my men. I left them my rifle, ammunition, and all the food there was, and took a chance through the bush. By the most incredible luck, it came off. But it wasn't in time to save them. And then rumor had gone around that I deliberately tried to abandon my men. There's life for you. Do you really expect me to believe that? After you've actually admitted to the whole thing? I know. I got such a kick out of watching their faces. I'm not going to believe a lie like that. Blast you! Now. You cunning little devil! One step near, and I'll shoot. You, young, lovely, and quite, quite mad. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
My rhyme, my rhyme, my ten little soldier plan, it's all coming true. You silence in the court! If there's any more noise, we shall have the court cleared. Don't be frightened. Come now, this is a court of justice. You'll get your justice here. Anthony Marston first, then Miss Rogers, Barbatone in the brandy, General MacArthur stabbed in the back. Doped uh, Emily Brent's coffee so she wouldn't feel the hypodermic. Got Mrs. Rogers with an axe while she was chopping sticks. Booby trap the floor. <laughs> floor is a fool. Always knew it'd be easy to get floor. But turning that revolver was a clever touch. Made the end interesting. I knew you two would suspect each other in the end. Question was, who went out? You thought I was a ghost. You thought I was dead. Armstrong said I was dead. That was a clever part of my plan. We trapped the murderer so I'd be free to spy upon the guilty one. She thought it was an excellent plan. Came out that night to meet me by the cliff. I sent her over with a push. So easily! You know, Vera, all my life I wanted to take life. Yes, to take life. I had to get what enjoyment I could out of sentencing the guilty to death. Yes, I enjoyed that, but it wasn't enough. I wanted more. I wanted to do it with my own hands. But I'm a judge of the High Court. Now I've got a sense of justice. As between our sovereign lord and the king, will true deliverance make guilty? Yes, guilty. You were all guilty, you know, but the law couldn't touch you. So while I had to take the law into my own hands, silence in the court.